Hi, this is Brandon Spillay from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Kettlebell Bottoms Up Carry. This is a great shoulder stability exercise, uh, and it can really strengthen your rotator cuff and your overall shoulder strength. You are going to need a kettlebell for this exercise. That's really what makes this exercise unique. A dumbbell will not cut it. Um, so if you happen to have some kettlebells laying around at home or at your gym, this is a great exercise to strengthen up that rotator cuff, especially if you've had some kind of injury history. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take the kettlebell, and just like it says the bottom's up, we're going to take the fat part of the bell, and it's going to be towards the ceiling. And then we're going to hold the handle and make sure we squeeze it really hard with our knuckles towards the ceiling. Now, when we do the carry aspect of it here, we're going to have a good 90 degree angle at our elbow and our shoulder and our thorax. And then, like I said, we're going to make sure this stays towards the ceiling. And as you can tell, this is already relatively challenging. Now. While we hold that position, we also want to make sure that our shoulder is protracted. We really want to make sure that we're kind of reaching forward. That's going to give us some serratus anterior work, um, which is really important in terms of controlling the scapula and how it moves on the rib cage. So make sure we're having this forward in a good position. Not only is it going to make the exercise more challenging, but we're going to get more bang for our buck from it. And at the same time, when we're in this position, we're also going to feel some internal obliques work as well. So again, we're going to be here. If you have to, you can start with one hand to get it up in position. Take that elbow good and forward here, and then we would just walk with it as we go to carry it. Make sure we're not overarching here. We want to keep our ribs good and down as we reach forward. And then we would just walk back and forth depending upon what our program said. Now. I will tell you that most people will try to cheat this by having their elbows kind of down here versus up here. So the way that I like to coach it, especially for my clients and my athletes, is to pretend that your elbow is a gun. And if you had to shoot somebody, you're going to have to have it up and straight forward. You're not going to have it out here. You're not going to have it down because you'll shoot the ground. You want a good, good and forward. That's going to help you not only benefit from that position, but it's going to make it more challenging as well. Now, when it comes to programming for an exercise like this, obviously, you're going to want to make sure you do both sides. Especially, you're probably going to have a weaker side as well. So my suggestion would be first to have the athletes start off with their non-dominant arm and see what kind of load they can do there because they'll probably be able to do it with their dominant side. But when you program this exercise, we usually program it for distance in our facility. Our turf is 25 yards, so generally we program this usually 25, 25 yards per side or per arm. Um, by all means, you could certainly shorten or lengthen that based upon your facility. That's just what works well for us. And usually we do about two to three sets uh, on each side. And we pair it with either some of our extra abdominal work or accessory work. And we kind of use it as a good quality filler, especially for our overhead athletes like baseball, softball, tennis, swimming, uh, volleyball, things like that, where we're going to spend a lot of time overhead. And we need to make sure that rotator cuff is good and strong. This works really well. I'll also add one quick thing is that this really works well for athletes that also have an anterior presentation. So they've got some really bad anterior pelvic tilt um, and they happen to be having some shoulder problems. Doing this also helps push their center of gravity back a little bit. And if you really emphasize it on one arm versus the other, you can actually can tell get their thorax to favor one side or the other if you also happen to need to do that as well. So if you've got any questions about this exercise, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.